What's up folks, so last time I made a video talking about mostly the main things, GPU, case and CPU, that kind of thing, and uh, I kind of left out some, some things so I wanted to make another video to before the end of the, the year so I can just kind of get the full, the full thing out there. So um, I never talked about the, the SSDs and the in the original kind of build in 2015. So the original kind of main storage was uh, four Kingston V300, I think it was, uh, SSDs in, in RAID 0, just because I was looking at um, something for my main storage and I was looking at SSDs and I was like, well, I can get a, I can get like a, a 512 gig or 250 gig, or I can just get you know, four 120 gigs and put them in RAID 0 and have the the same amount of storage and the, at the same price than if I just bought one drive but I would be getting faster speeds so I was like, sure, why not? and the, it, it was it was okay, I'll put some, some numbers up but the, the drives weren't very good, especially the the 120 gigs, they seem to be okay the further up you go, but the 120 gigs were not very uh, reliable. I had to return them because uh, a couple of them failed. So I've, I've had a lot of bad luck, like the, the 90 Ti died. I went through maybe a couple of uh, R9 295X2s that were DOA, and then one of them leaked. and. Um, Talking about that, uh, my original CPU cooler was the Corsair H60, I think it is, and the the pump died on that, and uh, I contacted Corsair, and they they not only replaced it, they gave me the like the the newer version of it, the H80 GT, I think it is. So that was pretty awesome of them. And um, yeah, so it's just a 120 rad. It's it lets me get to my max overclock. It's a bit kind of mm, in the summer, but it's all right. I put some. Uh, I took the IHS off and put some um, cool laboratories liquid metal ultra on the 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 die, um, and that that keeps it fine in the summer. Mostly gets to about maybe. 75 degrees. I need to put a, a filter on the back because I have it intaken from the back and it just goes straight out the top just because it gives you... I, I've done some testing and it, and it gives me a bit better temperatures but uh, it sucks in all the dust so and there's no filler at the moment and when I was uh, prepping the case for painting that I took everything off and put on a, a test bench and uh, I'll put a picture up of the the radiator was just completely caked in dust from 12 months. Well, I usually clean it every uh, 12 months. Um, well, I tried to anyway, and it was just completely blocked. It was getting to like 85 degrees, sometimes all the way up to 90. There's been a couple changes since the last video as well. You can probably notice uh, there's another 1080 Ti in there. Um, I did talk about last time the, the disadvantages I found with um, having uh, the, the two R9 295X2s and uh, while they're still valid it's um, it's a bit more forgiven when it's just two GPUs instead of four so it's it's not too bad and I'm an enthusiast at heart so if I can put time, effort and research into and then get rewarded with more performance, you know, that's that's fine with me. And yeah, the, the top card gets toasty, so I've got the second, the, the bottom card as the, the default card that runs maybe 10 degrees cooler and like 10% less fan speed. So, yeah, they're a prime candidate for water cooling. 
So I've got part one of the time lapse painting and modding that kind of thing, but it's taken a bit longer than um, I'd planned because, um, well, I'd, I'd seen something on YouTube um, and I was surprised how easy it was to do, so I've been working on doing that. And it's uh, the LCD side panel window. I'd, I'd seen it at one of the, the trade shows maybe a year ago, and I was like, oh, I bet that's super expensive and like super, you know, prototypish right now. So I didn't really think anything of it. And then I found a few videos and it's, it, I was just surprised at how easy you could just do it yourself. And I just happened to have a, a spare monitor in the, you know, the cupboard just collecting dust. So I was like, I'll try it out. And if it doesn't work, you know, I'll just put the monitor back together. And if it does work, then, you know, that's something pretty cool. So I've been working on that. I'll show you what I've got done so far. The, I've got most of it mounted. Um, I still, I've still got to solder all the, the LEDs together and the, um, like the control board for the LCD. I need to wire all that up, but it's mostly done. Um, so yeah, so I, I don't know when part three will be coming out, maybe in a few weeks, depending on how things go, but I'm, I'm nearly there. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this update. Thanks for watching. See you later.